Yeah, a load of LEDs. Why did I buy it? A while back, I bought this cheap kit on eBay for making your own LED light bulb. And because I'd chosen the cheapest possible, when it arrived, there's no LEDs in the kit. So I had to buy some LEDs. I could possibly have gone through all my boxes and found some, but when I was looking for LEDs I thought, why don't I get some infrared LEDs? And then I can have an infrared light bulb. So that's what we're going to do. No instructions as usual. Not many components. We've got one, two, three resistors, four diodes, two bits of wire, electrolytic capacitor, and whatever you call this type of capacitor, and then got this unit here which you screw into your normal Edison screw socket so it shouldn't take long to put together well this bit shouldn't but this bit's going to take a while so we have to put all of them in and then we've got, we've got a pointy stick and we've got a positive terminal and a negative terminal. Can I see that at all? There's a plus there and a minus there. So when we've got all the LEDs in place we then need to connect those two wires and then they will go onto this board. It says LED plus minus. diode 1, diode 2, diode 3, diode 4. I don't know why they couldn't have just then done them in a straight line, but we can see the direction they need to be placed. So one that way, one that way, one that way, one that way. So I'm going to put them in there using a little silver bar on the end. So it matches where they've got a little bar on the end there. 200k resistor goes there. 470k resistor goes there. C1. Hmm. Oh, I see, yeah. C1's got to be that one, because that's the only one that's going to be big enough to go across the terminals or the little holes and then that one we've got the grey side with the line on it or the negative sign is going to go and it's also got positive that side which is the longer leg so that clearly goes in that way and then probably has to be folded down flat And then down here it says AC, AC, which will be those wires. So which shall we do first? I guess we can solder up this little bit first. This one's going to be a bit repetitive, so at the very least I'm going to fast forward that. I'll plug in my soldering iron and we'll get going. Okay, we'll do the little board first. Now we've only got two resistors to worry about. That one and that one. One's got to be 200 and one's got to be 470. Well, red is 2, black is 0. I can't quite see the colour of the next bit. But if that's 2 and 0, it's got to be that 200. 
because that one's definitely not 200. So by a process of elimination, I'm going to say that's got to be that one. I could have got a meter out and measured it to be absolutely sure. But when you've only got a choice of two, there's not much to go by, is there? Well, you're either right or wrong. Right, using my USB soldering iron. Okay, first bit in place. I suppose I could have zoomed in on that. I'll probably just zoom in on the um, editing. Let's do the diodes. So taking care to get them the right way round. Okay, so that's two one way and two the other way. Do that. Is that purple or brown? This one's got to be here, because it's the only one that's going to fill the gap between the holes. From memory, brown, black, black would be 100. The USB soldering iron turns itself off if you don't use it for a few seconds. Right, the big one. It's got to be across there. And then this one, positive and negative the right way round. And I think it's got to bend over at right angles, I reckon. Well, I reckon that's that bit finished. Still got to connect those wires onto there. And those wires onto here. But I'm just thinking I might do this first. Because this is going to take a fair bit of time. It'd be sensible to start in the middle and work out, wouldn't it? Sorry if the hand was in the way of the camera there. 
I was focusing on what I was doing, not focusing on the filming. So cut those extra bits off. Right, according to me, that's it. A little peg sticking up there, looks like that circuit board sits on there. And this sits on here. Nothing else to hold it in place. That's it. Question is, does it work? Well guys, very disappointed. Complete failure. At this point in time I was hoping to show you a nice infrared LED bulb but it doesn't work. I thought I'd found one dead LED in the middle of the array so I desoldered that one and it is dead. Uh, get it right way around. Yep, yeah, it's dead. So I changed it but I've now checked because that didn't help and the majority of these are dead. I put power on each individual one and most of them don't work. I then thought oh, I've got a bad batch so I've checked all of these now, all the ones I've got left and they're all fine. Get it right way around Putting that the right way around. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that one and all the rest of them are fine. So it's not a bad batch of LEDs. And it's not my soldering. So the only thing that's left is... I didn't even think about this when I put it in. Because there's no instructions or anything. But I put it in, there's a little hole just there in the circuit board and there's a peg there. So I shoved it in like that. And I think what's happened, is that's a bit springy, I put that straight in, and the most likely thing is we've got a straight contact between one of those tags and one of those tags. This is guessing. I don't know this for a fact, but I think that's probably what's happened. So either cover this with some sort of heat shrink or electrician's tape so it can't cause a problem or make sure you put it in the other way up because then there's nothing there that's going to make contact with anything there so failure I could desolder all of these that would be a lot of work and then I don't have enough left to replace it. I think this was 38 LEDs in total, something like that. And I bought a pack of 50, 99 pence. So, failure. Sorry guys. I'll put a link in the video description to bigclive.com because he knocks these up in a matter of minutes. Much more competent at soldering. And he did do one of these a while back, so I'll put a link to that video so you can see it.